Okay, we've got three tools to solve this problem. So first step, write down your three tools. Sum the moments at any point equals zero. The sum of the forces in the horizontal direction equals zero. And the sum of the forces in the vertical direction equals zero. So these are the three tools that we'll use to solve problems like this. If there's a hinge in the problem, the starting point is probably the sum of the moments at any point equals zero. And we'll, we'll use the sum of the moments about the hinge equals zero. So we'll start off, 70 is causing a moment about the hinge. So it's 70 times the distance is 150. So that's the moment. Now, it's tend to push the beam anti-clockwise, so it gets a negative stuck on the front. So it's a negative moment, anti-clockwise moment's negative. Next, we've got the 60, which is at an angle, so we can resolve it into two forces. That one, and another one coming down here. This force here will be 60 sine 40, and that one is 60 cos 40. The 60 cos 40, its line of action is passing through the hinge. So this causes no moment about the hinge. Okay, there's no turning effect caused by the 60 cos 40. The 60 sine 40, however, is trying to turn it anti-clockwise. Right, so we have 60 sine 40 times its distance away from the hinge, so that's 100, 250. Try to turn it anti-clockwise, so it's negative. Okay. Last force we have to deal with is F. Again, it can have two components, one acting there, and the second one pulling off like that. So this one is F sine 70. This is F cos 70. Again, line of action of S cos, F cos 70 passes through the hinge, so it causes no moment. The only moment we have is from the F sine 70, and it's times 100, 200, 350. It's going in the positive direction. It's going clockwise, so it's positive. And all that equation equals zero. Okay, there we have the rest of the working, and we find that F equals 61.2 kilonewtons. Okay, we've solved F, and F is 61.2 kilonewtons. Next, we need to find the reaction at the hinge. Uh, the simplest way to do this is to define an axis, we'll call that H1, H2, those are the two reactions at the hinge. They're 30 degrees off the horizontal, that's just to make all our forces nice and easy. Then if we do the sum of the forces in our vertical direction, equals we'll zero, we're kind of cheating, we'll switch the vertical direction around to that. So H2 is in our vertical direction, and it's going up the way, so it's positive. We have 70, again, it's going up the way, so again, it's positive. We have 60 sine 40, up the way, positive. And we have, our, what was the F? It's now 61.2 sine 70. Of course, it's gone down the way, so it's negative. It's that one, that one, that one, that one. One, two, three, four forces, and they all add up. So that's the sum of the forces in the vertical direction. We can solve that and we'll get H2. We do the sum of the forces in the horizontal direction. Again, equals zero. Now, our horizontal directions, we're calling it horizontal, but it's 30 degrees. So we have H1, and it's going that way, which is the negative direction, so it's negative. We have 60 cos 40, which is also go in the negative direction. The last one we have is the 
Formula F1, which is 61.2 plus 70, and it's gone in the positive direction, so it's plus 61.2 cos 70. Now it equals zero. Now, if you do the working, work those out. Okay, there's the calculations done. Now, notice H2 is turned out as a negative answer. All that means is this arrow up here, when I drew it, I guessed wrong. It's not going up the way. The direction's wrong. It should be round the other way. Okay, so H2 must be pushing down the way. All it remains to do to finish the question is use Pythagoras. Okay. So I've drawn H1 down to 30 degrees and I've drawn H2 notice I've reversed the direction of it so it's now 51.6 all it remains is to use Pythagoras to find the length there and you have to find that angle there and add on 30 degrees and you'll get the question finished okay. so do the question started off the sum of the moments by the hinge equals zero that gave me the force up here. Then I did the sum of force in the horizontal direction to give me h1. The sum of force in the vertical direction gave me h2. h2 turned out to be negative. That meant that my direction that I guessed h2 was in is around the other way. So h2 is actually pushing down. And I take h1 and add on h2 on there. Then you have to find the resultant here. And then find that angle using Sokotoa, add on 30, and that'll be the question.